What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I apologize if I'm a little scatterbrained, as I've just had my mind blown by a nine-minute reveal trailer of Death Stranding, which will be out in November. There's a lot to know about the release date, the pre-order bonuses, and whatever the heck is going on in the trailer, so I figured I would kind of combine everything for you as well as share my reaction to it. First of all, wow. This game is going to sell many millions of copies, more than 10 million, easily. And I don't see any other game in 2019 surpassing it, which I guess should be a good thing. But the trailer dropped this morning, which included some gameplay that raised more questions than answers in terms of the story. But as I know less and less about what appears to be uh, the post-apocalyptic UPS man world, the more I'm interested in it, which is exactly what Kojima wants. I've seen what will be stellar voice acting with Norman Reedus and Mads Mikkelsen. Um, Mads, I thought, I, you know, he's got a soft, I got a soft spot in my heart for him because I still am really sad that they canceled Hannibal. I thought he did uh, pretty good in Polar. Just always liked him a lot. Norman Reedus looks like he'll fit the part. I originally was concerned that I would only ever see, you know, Boondock Saints or I would only ever see Walking Dead in terms of Norman Reedus. Um, same with Mads, you know, I was only ever going to see Hannibal. Uh, but after watching a nine minute, what can only be described as cinematic film masterpiece, um... I'm less and less concerned about that. I thought that would take away from it. Like I would kept, I would keep seeing Daryl from The Walking Dead. But after watching this trailer, I got over it and it kind of just felt like I was watching an awesome movie. Death Stranding, according to Jason Kotaku, the bizarre next game from Metal Gear Solid directo, director Hideo Kojima will hit PS4 on November 8th, 2019, publisher said. In a strange new trailer, ostensibly contains a gameplay, but makes very little sense, as you might expect based on previous looks at Death Stranding. Sony revealed that news that Kojima's next game will be out sooner than many people expected. You can watch the nine-minute bonanza right here. Hopefully, I'll be uh, overplaying some of this. But uh, what does this mean for Sony's other remaining announced PS4 games? Well, The Last of Us 2 was planned for 2019, released... But I recently heard from a person familiar with the goings on at Sony that it's been delayed to early 2020, likely February, and Ghost of Tsushima will follow in the next months with PlayStation 5 likely launching next fall. The release of this game actually puts a lot of kind of dominoes in their place for the release of uh, the new PlayStation 5, other huge games obviously the last of us 2 will be another huge game uh, i don't think it will compare with dust stranding but it's hard to say because the last of us was also pretty huge uh, the death stranding release date november 8th 2019 making sony's big ps4 exclusive for the fall this year as a result last of us 2 has reportedly been pushed back to early 2020 and the news was announced via an extensive enigmatic death stranding trailer on twitch what gave us our best look yet at the upcoming ps4 game which is also reportedly scheduled to release for the ps5 in the not too distant future see the interesting thing is i wasn't that uh confused by the trailer i mean obviously it's difficult to know the exact goings-ons of of the story and that's why we play the game uh, as somebody who enjoys story-driven games, um, this will look, at least it looks like there's a lot of story and you're going to get to know the characters. That's a big reason I really, 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 really liked um, Red Dead Redemption 2. That's why I really like games like uh, Dragon Quest, where you get to really know and kind of fall in love with the characters. But, there, you know, it's clearly some post-apocalyptic type world where the um, the different planes between the living and the dead are either, uh, you can either pass in between them or they often intersect. There are baddies that they call BTs. There are also bad forces. There's a lot of uh, imagery that is shared that is kind of easy to put together. You know, at one point, the main character is talking to a female who appears to be uh, an elderly woman who at one point was the president of the United States of America, which had f basically disbanded because of whatever events that had happened. Um, you have these bridge babies or BBs uh, that help people see 
uh, cross between planes, I think. So it's starting to come together. I mean, yeah, obviously the intimate details are not there, but you know, there's something there. There's You can kind of get a general feel of it. Dale Kojima's first game since Metal Gear uh, 5 is thus scheduled to release in just over five months' time. Death Stranding pre-order details have already appeared on PlayStation Store, which I'm going to go through in a second, bearing digital goodies for anyone who purchases their copy of the game before its newly revealed launch date. Now, as I've often said before, there is almost never any reason to pre-order anything, and I think it still enforces bad behavior overall. There are a few exceptions. Um, I think pre-ordering a game from Rockstar is fine. Uh, pre-ordering The Last of Us 2 or Death Stranding, probably fine. Um, I do still think that there's value in waiting because there's often gigantic day one patches and hot fixes that need to happen in today's game development world that can ruin the experience. So I think there's still a lot of value in just waiting a week or two. Let some of the more... Let some of the more obvious bugs get patched out before you even start your experience. I, I, and especially with story mode games, or if there's like, you know, I really don't expect like game breaking glitches, but you know, annoyances and, and, and quality of life updates. A lot of those can happen in the first two weeks because that's when people will be the most vocal about them. So I'm still trying to make a pitch for, uh, not pre-ordering it, even though I know many of you will, and I'm not going to judge you for it. I think this is a, a case where all right fine you know we know that it's probably going to come out in a very strong state of course death stranding is releasing november making it very unlikely for another big ps4 exclusive the last of us 2 to be launching around the same time throwing water on the long rumor 2019 release date for naughty dogs hotly anticipated sequel yes we want to get that hot girl on girl action there's rumors that Sony's planning another state of play this week, focused entirely on The Last of Us 2, but the absence of any official word from PlayStation on top of this Death Stranding news looks less likely and uh, less and less likely. The game is supposed to be in its final stages of development, but don't hold your breath on being able to play it by Christmas. Sorry, Joel and Ellie fans. Death Stranding is one of our most anticipated games of 2019. Now, to look at some of the pre-order, lots going on here, all right? So, um... There are pre-order bonuses. Pre-order any edition of Death Stranding and you'll receive the following digital items. Note that the special gold versions of the in-game items need to be unlocked through gameplay. So you get the Death Stranding PS4 dynamic theme, PSN avatar, gold sam sunglasses, gold armor plate, gold hat, gold speed skeleton. Um, Pre-ordering for $59.99. Uh, now you have the special edition, which is available only from Best Buy and GameStop. Uh, the special edition Death Stranding comes with the following items. S custom steelbook case, eh. special gold version of Luden's Mask sunglasses must be earned in-game. So I'm assuming that just means, yes, you have the opportunity, but you've got to still complete a task for it. Death Stranding Timefall, original music. Um, by the way, it's rare that, you know, soundtracks are something I talk about, but I'm assuming this, this game is going to have an excellent one. And behind-the-scenes digital video. So for an extra 10 bucks. Yeah, you get the steelbook case, I suppose. Um, the gold sunglasses, I guess. It's just a cosmetic. Behind the scenes digital video, I mean, why wouldn't they just put that on YouTube? That doesn't seem like really worth the extra 10 bucks, but that's just my opinion. The digital deluxe version uh, comes with the game itself, of course. Any applicable pre order bonuses and the following digital items custom avatar set, 10 avatars featuring various characters from the game. Um, the soundtrack, behind the scenes, digital video, um, gold versions of in-game items must, must be earned through gameplay. All right. Okay. Now, now we're getting to the big daddies, the collector's edition, the $200 version here. You get a physical bridges, cargo, uh, bridges, cargo case, which people are going to like and be, it would look beautiful on my set, but I just, I just can't do it. Can't, can't do it. Can't, 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 I don't think I can do it. Um, you get a custom steelbook case, Luton's keychain, and a full-sized BB pod statue. So you get like the weird bridge baby. Um, oh, man. Oh, I kind of want it. <laughs> I kind of want it. I'm already justifying it uh, to myself for uh, <laughs> it's for the set. Yeah, yeah, guys. I totally disavow pre-ordering. Unless you're a YouTuber and you want something cool on your set, then it's totally cool, and, and nobody should ever point out the hypocrisy in your statements. 
you also get, of course, the same digital items. Um, you know, it's rare that I just do a purely hype video. So I hope that if you did in, enjoy the kind of the overall just hype of it all, that you remember to drop a like on it and uh, uh, and leave a comment down below. Are you going to pre-order Death Stranding? Are you even into this type of game? I know it doesn't appeal to everybody. When you look at the trailer reaction, there's about 100,000 upvotes to 1,000 downvotes, which is uh, <laughs> a pretty good indicator of where people are at in terms of this trailer and if they're interested in purchasing the game. Uh, I'm pretty excited that it, it appears basically early, early November, which means I've got to blast through. I've got... I'm playing Witcher 3 finally. Um, I've got to finish that. I've got to finish Dark Souls. And um, I don't think I'm going to buy any more PlayStation games until I finish my back catalog. I have a few hours left of Red Dead Redemption 2. And based that summer is coming up and life gets busier, eh, that might be all I get to play until Death Stranding. But uh, it looks like it's going to be worth the wait I like seeing some real gameplay. I like seeing a lot of the teasers. Lots of interesting stuff to be excited about this Christmas season. I'm a little disappointed that it appears that the PS5 definitely won't be this year, but probably early 2020, but that's okay too. I mean, as long as the game runs good, I might actually break out my PS4 Pro because I have a PS4 Pro behind me and uh, I want it to really, really look good as opposed to on the original PlayStation which, you know, probably struggle, I'm guessing, with it. So, Death Stranding release date, uh, cast with Mads, with um, um, Norman Reedus, all sorts of amazing stuff. So, uh, again, November 8th release date, Kojima Productions. I want to share the cast with you if I can. Um, you have Mads, uh, Norman Reedus. And I wonder what the kind of pay is. I really do. I wonder, like, what are we talking about? Because you're getting major Hollywood actors and act actresses to do some. I mean, Norman Reedus is not tiny. Um, neither is Mads. Um, some of these other voice actors um, doesn't just because I don't know their name doesn't mean they're not huge in the voice acting world. I just these two are the most recognizable to me. But there's a lot, you know, Games Radar actually has a pretty good article about, you know, the role of the baby, how it's um, Kojima confirmed to IGN that the baby Norman Reedus cuddles in the first trailer is the same baby in the container held by Del Toro in trailer two. And the baby who appears in Reedus's esophagus doing the thumbs up sign during the trailer three. The baby relates to the game mechanics as well as the story as a whole. Uh, the baby has a name but won't share it yet. Sam and his team have shoulder-mounted spinning arms that rotate when the person comes into possession of the baby. There's a lot of speculation about um, a lot of speculation about the role of the baby. From suggestions, it's Sam's child or a metaphor for his real-life baby or form transference. I think it sounds. I mean, it looks like it allows them to pass between the two worlds but you know we'll have to wait and see i guess i'm excited i hope you're excited it's good to be excited about good games once in a while and rather than mad about all the bad ones hope you enjoyed this video though i'll talk to you again real soon